out here and pick the rest of the Swiss chard and spinach. We have it in a couple pots, another one over there, and right next to the weed. We got some parsley we got to remove. Holy cow, parsley. Over on here, we got some more tomatoes, believe it or not. A few tomatoes, peppers, we're going to take into the garage and overwinter them. Got a, a nice couple big bell peppers on there. Looking good. And then down here, you got like a million hot peppers. I don't know what we're going to do with those, but we got to get them out of the ground and, and overwinter them soon because we've got temperatures changing here. I probably got another week to go. And we got oregano to pull and chives and everything else. Just about a week. I got to cut the rest of these hop plants down. I never did. Nice little wagon. Get a size of this pepper. We didn't want these to die, so we took them out of the ground. We're going to overwinter them. We're going to keep growing them in the garage. Here's a couple more down here. These will turn red. This one's falling over, unfortunately. I'm going to re-push it over here. And then I see another one right here. That's, they're coming in really nice yet, so we're going to keep them going in the garage. And down here we got our banana peppers. They're still growing, which is kind of amazing. Some little ones we're going to, what's called overwinter. Look at that, under there. And a mess of them on there. So we're going to let them go in the garage. We just brought them out here in the sun for a nice sun bath. So I'll keep. I'll try them out. We got a we got a bazillion. We'll show you over here. But what I wanted to show you is this these pepper plants, and you can't touch them by hand because it'll your hands will go hot. These are hot, hot peppers. You got some of them turning red down in here. The wife says, "Don't touch them." Oh, look at them. There's a bazillion of them on here coming. So we're going to take some of these into the garage, too, and dig them out and overwinter them. Just put my hand against them. That's, they're quite hot. But otherwise, i got a, a lot of mess to clean up out here. We've still got some tomatoes coming in, believe it or not, over here. And over there. This is October 28th. Kind of crazy. So we got some picking to do here and cleaning up to do what yet not put the peppers over there in the sun down to 36 degrees last night but we're running tons of swiss chard here yet and spinach in there swiss chard in here and there's swiss chard behind the grill over here with the horseradish here's the tomatoes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, there's about 10, 15, 20 on there. <laughs> They're green. And like I say in the back, it's all muddy back there. That's some red ones to pick again. And so wait till the granddaughter comes over to help us out because, like I say, we had so many tomatoes coming out, you know, or, or you know what. So, yeah. That's crazy. Garden picking the tomatoes, the last one. Picking seven and eight. Picking seven, made 17 jars of piccalilli. The wife just made 17 jars of piccalilli. Oh, it tastes great on hot dogs, all kinds of stuff. With some uh, uh, other tomatoes, relish, uh, tomato relish. And left over, how you doing? We're going to get another batch <laughs> of goulash. Oh, maybe uh, five servings. Not a huge batch. We're going to try to hide this from the granddaughter. But uh, that's batch eight of the tomatoes. And like I say, we will probably never, ever plant those again because, <laughs> oh my God, eight pickings, well over 90 pounds. I forget. I lost track of it. But that's, uh, <laughs> that's that. The rest of the jars, 17 jars of pickle lily. And uh, another batch of goulash. I love it. How you doing? We'll show this with the peppers and everything else we got growing in the garage. 
to grow like that out here. <laughs> we got some banana peppers. I know the wife picked some the other day. They're growing nice. We got some uh, bell peppers. Oh, that one's rotten. That's no good. That's no good. Uh, got a big one here. Doing good. Little one here. Got some parsley. Swiss chard. The Swiss chard is going nuts here. Look at this. We'll be picking some of this today for dinner. And then the hot peppers. They're pointed toward the sun. Looks like there's a million of them. We got these out of the ground just in time before they, they, uh, they froze. It's, uh, the leaves are falling off and ain't doing too good, but we'll end up getting some peppers off of here, hot peppers. And what we plan on doing, especially with the bell peppers, and maybe the uh, the uh, banana peppers is overwinter them. There's a way to cut the bind, the, the stalks down at a certain level at the one V. I think it is like this with the one branch. I got to go on YouTube and check it out on Google. And then you just put them in dormant, put them over in the corner, cover them up dormant, and then come spring you can transplant them again, and you'll get a huge crop. Of course, I want to see a, a crop like that big one on top there. That's a nice one. We're waiting for that one to turn red. So, that's the peppers. And the beer's over here gurgling yet, I believe. This is the beer we made last week. <clears throat> and it's 65 degrees out here. And she's actually still fermenting a little bit. So that's a blood orange we did. So there's our pepper mess. Peppers, 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 Swiss chard, spinach. And the leaves are falling off. <laughs> that might be the end of that plant. It might have froze. Didn't get that one out in time, probably.